Hello, today I'm going to tell you how I made this 720 LED DMX controlled visualizer. I screwed 15 by 15 mm aluminium square box section onto the 3D prints and those are going to make the mounts for the LEDs. Everything else is made of 2020 V-slot extrusion and those are held in place with T-nuts onto the 3D prints to make the rest of the structure. I've installed rubber feet as well so they should all stand nicely on the ground. So I've built four units holding the sticks. It looks a bit like a futuristic electric fence from Buck Rogers in the 25th century. But all we need to do now is put some LED strips on and some electronics in each one, and then we can get it powered up. I'm using the standard Adafruit NeoPixel library, and I'm just doing the strip test here to check all my LEDs work and all my bridges with wires in between the strips work okay. So we've got three strips of 60 LEDs, which are one meter long on each of the four units. And that seems to be running all right just using an Arduino Mega and a 5 volt regulator and a battery to power it. I then 3D printed a box for each unit that holds an Arduino Mega, a MAX485 conversion for the RS485 for DMX and a dual RJ45 breakout which is going to allow me to daisy chain the units. Everything's built on proto board and bits of pin strip stuck in the Arduino as usual so all of the solder joints are made by point to point connections. So each of these units is going to basically make the strips into a DMX light which we're going to control from some DMX software to do music visualizations and other lighting chases and things like that. So we've got an RS485 converter in there that allows us to do DMX. We can get a DMX shield for the Arduino but the converter is about £5 and the shield's £30. Also I'm using RJ45 breakouts because they're much cheaper than the big DMX cables. So we've got 180 LEDs per light and that's 60 in each strip times 12. So that's quite a lot of power when they're all full on RGB which makes white. So I've got this which is a 70 amp 5 volt power supply. We've got four DC connectors coming out of it and I've made a 3D printed box to put it in. And in the back we've got outlet power with a main switch and a fuse and of course all the metal's earthed. I've made this converter which takes the DMX XLR and turns into RJ45 and that means I can daisy chain from one hop to the other and everything should be good on our RS485 bus. At some point I'll put this in a box though and make it nice and neat and tidy. I fitted a box on the back of each unit with the electronics in and left holes there for the cables to plug in. So each one of these units is going to be a DMX light with three channels and we're going to control that from Q Light Controller Plus which I'm using for my performance robot series. So we need to put some Arduino code on first though so we can read the DMX channels and decide what to do with the lights. So I'm using the DMX serial library and of course the Adafruit NeoPixel library. I've defined the pin we're attached to for the string which is all 180 LEDs and initiated the string there. So we're using the DMX serial library as a receiver and that's very easy. All we need to do is just do a DMX serial read on channel 1 and I'm printing that out to the COM port just so I can see the value for now. All we're doing here is if there's a change in the value, so we bookmark it afterwards, and if the values change, so we only write to the LED string if there's some change in the data. First of all, we clear them all by writing them all as zero, and for now I'm just writing out the whole chain based on the DMX value. So that will just color in the LEDs from zero up to the value of channel one, which ranges up to 255, even though we've only got 180 LEDs, and it writes out 255 red, no green, and no blue, so they should all appear as a red color. So that seems to be working okay, obviously I've got a max value of 255 and only 180 LEDs so nothing happens over a DMX value of 180 but that's expected. But other than that it seems to work pretty well and it's really responsive. So obviously the next bit of code is to light up the three strips with three channels. So I'm now reading three channels and I'm also reading in three other channels which are used as RGB values so I can alter the colours on each one. 
I've got three for loops now and they're very similar apart from the second one is offset by 60 LEDs and the third one is offset by 120 LEDs and that should put the lights in the right place. So now I've got three channels of course which will give me the three columns of light and I've now got my RGB on channels 4, 5, 6 so at the moment red is right up if we fade that down and bring up the green then the next time the lights get a value they colour themselves in green and the same for blue and in fact we can mix those as well so we can have purple or any other combination of RGB value. And of course the next logical answer is to give each light a different set of addresses so now I can in fact fade up all of the lights in whatever colour I want. And of course we've got that red, green and blue mix so that I can vary any lights as well and we can go and alter the colours as new values come in. And of course QLC Plus is a piece of software for coordinating disco lights so we can put together various scenes and various chasers which allow things to happen for various amounts of time. So I've made various patterns, this one just takes them all up and down and it fades between the two and while I'm doing that of course I can live mix the RGB values or assign different chasers to fade for them. I've also made this rather satisfying snake pattern that of course just delays them slightly and raises and lowers the next one with a lighting fade just shortly after the first one and so on and so on so they cascade. I assigned another channel to make a dot mode so that just lights up 10 LEDs instead of the whole bar. I also found I can mix chasers, so this is a combination of just going up and down on all the lights and the snake pattern, and that gives me some rather satisfying effects. And QLC Plus has a rather lovely sound to light widget which will allow you to assign the frequency bands and the amplitude on each one to DMX channels, and of course I can assign those to one channel on each of my strips. So I'm pretty happy with how that's turned out, it's really easy to write the lighting chases in QLC+, but of course I could feed it with another Arduino with a DMX interface on, and we could actually use mathematical formulas like sine waves and various things to produce the patterns and various other visualisations. So this is going to get worked in my stage show with the performance robots, so I'm hoping to have a performance robot stood at each end and various other things on the stage. In the last video about that I covered how the audience will be able to interface with perhaps face tracking on a webcam and physical interfaces, so perhaps people could alter the RGB values while the show's in progress. So don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this and various other projects. Just a quick ad for my Patreon, you can support me on patreon.com slash xrobots and also have YouTube channel membership if you don't like Patreon, so check out those links in the description below. Also have a t-shirt store where you can get cartoon drawings of the things I've built. Alright, that's all for now.